Dear Faithful, In this video we are excited to share with you an extraordinary and authentic story. A story involving Pope Francis during his trip in 2015 to America on the occasion of the celebration of families. A true story that moved the hearts of the inhabitants of the United States of America and beyond. When the Holy Father kindly placed a kiss on the head of a little girl, the parents couldn't help but smile with joy. But fate had another extraordinary chapter in store for them that would shake the foundations of their world six weeks later. Before moving on, if you haven't already done so, we invite you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. This free gesture is very important to us. Thank you very much. Let's continue. The life of Gioi Massiantonio and his wife Karen flowed in a seemingly calm and serene way, flanked by their adorable daughter, Gianna, and her little brother, Dominic. An apparent model family, united and full of affection, which many looked up to with admiration. A routine of hard work and moments of fun seemed to have filled the lives of Gioi Karen and their little girl with happiness. However, the veil of appearance hid a very different reality. Little Gianna was fighting a rare and potentially fatal blood disease caused by a malignant tumor. His days were a relentless cycle of hospitals and treatments, a stubborn and complicated battle that could end tragically. The danger that the tumor would spread in his fragile body was constant, but the doctors with courage did not stop fighting. Little Gianna deserved a chance to survive. The family naturally tried to face the situation with determination and courage, supported by the faith that had always been an integral part of their lives. Gioi and Karen attended church assiduously, praying that God would work a miracle in the little girl's life. Until that moment, their prayers had gone unanswered, but they continued to believe that one day everything would change. Without faith, what would they have had? But one day, a close friend of Gioi's, Mark, an FEBI agent, expert in organizing security for the Pope's visit to the United States, presented them with a one-of-a-kind opportunity. An opportunity that would test their faith and change their lives forever. Mark had worked tirelessly to ensure security during the Pope's visit to their city of Philadelphia. He had given them a specific time and place where they could see the Pope up close as his procession passed through the city. The idea of witnessing such an extraordinary event filled Joy and Karen's hearts with joy, an overwhelming feeling of faith in something greater than themselves. They felt faith growing within them, giving them a reason to hope. Perhaps that day Gianna could have seen the Pope together with her parents and drawn comfort from him, support in her battle against the disease. With unshakable determination, they headed towards the center of the city, knowing that the chances of approaching the Pope among the crowds were slim. But they wouldn't let fear stop them. They had taken a courageous leap of faith, trusting God for Gianna's protection. When they arrived at the magnificent historic James Bond Carter's building, they positioned themselves strategically at the spot Mark had indicated. Luckily, the area was not yet crowded, and they had a privileged view of the road the Pope would travel. They waited with trepidation and hope, knowing that meeting Pope Francis in the crowd would be an exceptional event. They prayed for a miracle because the Pontiff's visit to the city was not a daily event, and they did not want to allow concern for Gianna's health to stop them. After an hour of waiting, Joy's eyes fell on the Pope as he approached, radiating an aura of spirituality. The crowd stirred as the Holy Father slowly drove down the street in his Pope Mobile, giving blessings and thanks to the crowd. It was an incredible sight. Gioi and Karen had seen Pope Francis on television, but they never imagined seeing him in person. Joy lifted little Gianna above the crowd, while she looked at her surroundings with eyes full of awe and wonder. At that moment, an attentive security officer noticed the little girl and signaled to Gioi to hand her over. Without hesitation, Gioi entrusted Gianna to the guard. The guard approached the Pope, whose procession had stopped, and a touching meeting took place there. 
Pope Francis whispered a few words to the little girl and then gave her a sweet kiss on the head before sending her a joyful wink and saying goodbye. The act of love and kindness deeply moved Gioi and Aaron, filling them with mixed emotions, joy, gratitude, contentment, and peace. In that moment, they realized they were fully learning the power of faith. After that extraordinary meeting, the family returned to their daily routine of hospital visits and medical procedures. But the memory of the Pope's kiss remained imprinted in their hearts, giving them a strange form of strength and hope during the most difficult moments. It was difficult to explain to others their emotions and how grateful they were for that act of kindness. It was a small thing, but it meant the world to them. But the biggest surprise was yet to come. Only six weeks after that extraordinary meeting with the Pope, Gioi and Karen had another reason to cry with joy. Lisa's medical scans showed something incredible and inexplicable. The tumor that had plagued her tiny body had shrunk significantly. Doctors had long struggled to keep it under control, but they didn't expect it to get any smaller. It was an incredibly emotional moment for the family who struggled to believe what they saw. There were no scientific explanations for what was happening. Joy and Karen were certain that the Pope's kiss was not a magical cure, but a divine intervention, a sign from God that he had touched their little girl's life with his love and healing. From that moment on, their faith was strengthened and their hope became immovable. They faced the challenges that life continued to present, knowing that God's grace guided them. Gianna's recovery became a testament to the power of love, faith, and sharing, proving that miracles can happen even in the most difficult circumstances. The little girl has recovered to date. Gioi and Karen now share their story, not only as an account of their miraculous experience, but also as a source of hope for anyone who is struggling. They have started a charity foundation to help families dealing with a child's serious illness. Sometimes, when you least expect it, divine intervention can change lives. And for them, the Pope's kiss on that special day was a powerful symbol of hope and miracle. Now it's your turn. What do you think of this incredible story? Why is there so little talk about it? Do you believe Gianna's healing was caused by divine interference or coincidence? Share the video with the people you care about and leave your thoughts here in the comments section. We will be really happy to interact with you. Thank you with all my heart.